what is happening family it's your girl Zai and welcome back to the channel I hope you all have been having a great week so far I'd like to give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers thank you so much for supporting me and sticking with me on my YouTube journey it is my goal to continue making quality content that you all truly enjoy just be sure to like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're always notified when your girl release new videos every week Today I'll be showing you how to record gameplay on your PC for free. I've been using this software for quite a while now. Some of you may be interested in starting your own Sims 4 gaming channel. So I want to show you all what settings I use to record my Sims 4 gameplay. So if you're interested in seeing how I do that, please keep watching. The timestamps will be listed in the description box below along with the link to the software I'm currently using. So the first thing you want to do is go to obsproject.com. This is where you would download the OBS Studio. I am currently working on a Windows 10 computer, so I will be downloading the software for Windows. So I just click on Windows, it will automatically start downloading. You'll wait for it to download, and then we can move on to the next section. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you'll go ahead and open open your download windows is going to ask you if you want to install it you will go ahead and install it i already have it on my computer but this is the first step in order to get obs on your computer so once you have obs on your computer you will go ahead and open up obs and it's going to look like this so I want to go ahead and show you the exact settings I use to record my game. Um, I do want to let you all know I do have, I want to show you all my processor because everyone's computer is different. So these are the settings that work for me um, based on the particular computer that I have. I have a desktop, has a Intel Core processor i7-77. Zero, zero, 7700 CPU you can see all of this stuff I'm not like a techie person so some of this stuff I really don't know what it means but all I know is the OBS settings that I have works for the type of processor that I have okay so once you download OBS you want to open OBS and go into settings I don't do anything with general or stream because I'm not streaming right now so just go down to output currently my information is grayed out because I am using OBS to currently record this video for you all but it's going to be the same steps as if it wasn't grayed out so go to recording um, this is under advanced so the output mode is advanced um, the type is standard my recording path is on my D drive so anything that I record on OBS will go to my D drive because I just love saving everything onto my D drive because I don't want the videos taking up a lot of space on my C drive so you just go to browse and then you can click on your D drive in order to change the recording path the recording format I have is mp4 and I have one audio track checked right now the audio track just shows you what audio track you'll be using for your OBS video for OBS when you're recording as you can see I have one track working right now and that is the track I'm using to record my microphone audio the encoder is set for x264 um, there is another one on here um, called quick sync but when I use quick sync it makes my video quality look worse when I go play back my video so the best encoder to use is the x264 if you have that on your computer um, the rescale output is 1920 by 1080 then when you go down to rate control you want to click CBR my bit rate is set to 20,000 kbps now this will vary based on your computer that's why at the beginning I wanted to show you guys what kind of processor I have what kind of computer I'm using because this will vary um, depending on 
you know the style of computer what your computer can process but after doing some experimenting i found 20,000 work decks for me the keyframe interval is going to be set to zero the cpu usage preset is set to ultra fast and profile and tune is set to none after you select your settings you want to click apply I don't do anything in these other settings, audio or replay buffer. It's really simple. These are the settings that I use in order to record my gameplay. Um, I don't do anything in audio. The only thing I will show you guys, so I use an audio box to record my audio. So whatever mic you're using, you can set that up to use that mic. So I'm using audio box and audio box for my mic. These are my settings for my video, 1920 by 1080. The output is 1920 by 1080. The downscale filter is by linear, fastest, but blurry of scaling. That seems to work best for me. And I think this other stuff I don't really use. I did not adjust anything to this. But if you wanted to look at it to make sure yours match mine's, I'll leave it here for you so you can get a good look. Feel free to pause this video at any time. If I'm going too fast for you, feel free to play it back so that you can make sure you get your settings right. But that is all I do for these settings. So as you can see, I have display capture in The Sims 4 here. So these are two different capture windows. The display capture is what I use to capture my display as you can see right here. The Sims 4 is used to um, record my gameplay. So this capture setting is set up for when you open your game, um, the window will adjust to your game's window size, if that make any sense. So that it's not cutting off part of your gameplay part of the window while you're trying to play your game and record at the same time and it's not um, affecting the quality of your video like scaling things of that sort I'm gonna show you how I do this so you go to the plus button and you want to go to game capture and then you can just name it I name mine's the Sims 4 Sims 4, I'm gonna name mine as the Sim 4 temp because I already have one set up. But you can name it that so you'll always know this is the capture settings that you want to use for your gameplay and you click OK. Then you click OK again. And that's, you'll see that here. Now if you want to delete it, you can just right click and hit remove and it will remove it for you on um, your desktop audio should already be set up as well so when you go into your game it will record your music all of your gameplay music sound effects everything um, and you and then you can adjust it um, if it's too loud or you can adjust the music or sound effects in your game to a lower setting so it's not too loud while you're recording so i hope that was helpful for you guys this is a free software it's easy to use pretty simple those were the settings those are the settings that i use in order to record my sims 4 gameplay please you guys comment down below let me know what videos you all want to see next it is very important that i know what kind of video videos you all like to see so that i'm posting content that you all want to see on a daily basis but i love you family i will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Have a great week.